248 million years ago marks the beginning of the Triassic period. During this time period, all of the continents were together and made up Pangaea. Pangaea didn't begin to split up until the middle of the Triassic period, so living things could travel across different continents by foot. The Triassic period was the beginning of dinosaurs on Earth. Majority of the land towards the center of the supercontinent was desert. There was no grass and land was very arid. The extinction at the end of this era is still a very debatable topic among scientists. A common theory is that the release of carbon dioxide from widespread volcanic activity associated with the rifting of Pangaea is thought to have strengthened the global greenhouse effect, which then raised average air temperatures around the globe and acidified the oceans. Many believe that the mass extinction was triggered by meteors or some other extraterrestrial bodies like asteroids or comets. Many others believe it was caused by climate change and rising sea levels resulting from the sudden release of large amounts of carbon dioxide. Other authorities suggest that a relatively modest heating caused by rising carbon dioxide concentrations in the atmosphere could have released massive amounts of methane trapped in permafrost and undersea ice. This extinction vacated terrestrial ecological niches, allowing dinosaurs to dominate the Jurassic period. All major groups of marine invertebrates suffered the extinction, although most suffered losses. Brachiopods, shelled cephalopods, sponges, and corals especially. On land, casualties included the phytosaurs, a group of predatory crocodile-like animals. An increase in atmospheric CO2 caused acidification of the oceans and global warming that killed off 76% of marine and terrestrial species on Earth. In the seas, a whole class conodonts and 23-34% of marine genera disappeared. On land, all archosaurs became extinct with a few lucky exceptions. About 60% of the diverse pollen assemblages disappear at the Triassic-Jurassic boundary, indicating a major extinction of plant genera. Early Jurassic pollen assemblages are dominated by Corallina, a new genus that took advantage of the empty niches left by the extinction. Ammonites serve as important index fossils for assigning relative ages to various strata in the Triassic system of rocks. Conodonts are also important index fossils that were greatly affected by this extinction. Lastly, examining mercury concentrations of sediments from around the world is evidence of this extinction. Mercury is emitted in gaseous forms during volcanism and subsequently deposited in sediments. We find numerous pulsed elevations of mercury concentrations in end Triassic sediments. These peaks show that the mass extinction coincides with large scale episodic volcanism. The atmosphere is associated with this extinction because it is believed that climate change, carbon dioxide, and methane are factors that caused it. The hydrosphere is associated due to the sea level fluctuations and ocean acidification that occurred. The geosphere is associated because of the belief that volcanic eruptions, specifically from the flood basalts of the central Atlantic magmatic province, released carbon dioxide or sulfur dioxide and aerosols strengthening the greenhouse effect. Five implications of this extinction include evolution of our planet and the life on it, how biodiversity stems from extinctions, how climate change affects living things, understanding continental drift through fossils found during this period, and how Earth's systems are all interconnected.